there's this soulless psychotic leader with the largest criminal organization on the planet shoved right inside a Joey. Joey King, without a doubt. Like she may seem no small. No hesitation. She Joey. may seem small, but she's fierce. Mm. She she would kill. She's told us she would kill, actually. And she said she would kill for me. So mm. careful. You're going to want to hear the whole story. Have I got a bag of chips around here? <laughs> Twinkies. Yeah, like I'll eat. if we could eat stuff. I think it's just eat, just eating. If we could eat stuff. Just eat. Wait, this is my favorite Brad. What's yeah. that burn after reading when he's like? Oh yeah, yeah. That's just a good like one. that Brad. Or you've got the Brad that uh, is from Interview with the Vampire. He, you condemn me to hell. You condemn me to hell. I said that to Brad daily on set during <laughs> our scenes because like he's insane. Hi. You don't remember me. You look like every white homeless man I've ever seen. Really? You don't remember me? Look, this was a real treat because we're we're getting a Brad at this point in his career where he wants to have fun, it feels like. It feels like he just wants to come on and have a good time. This is a Brad that allowed a lot of strangers to slap him in the face daily, you know what I mean? And he had a great time with that. Dude, I don't even know you! He really brought the joy to set. I, I've never seen someone really come in and commit to just like having fun every single day. It was truly fun. It was what I call a bloody Chuck E. Cheese. It was like we all signed on to go to this bloody Chuck E. Cheese with Brad Pitt as our, as our tour guide. I would call you uh, Daffodil. <laughs> Daffodil, because of the hair. Like, it's very, like, you know, I look like if I blew on you, you <laughs> <laughs> Aaron, come on. I'm gonna say lavender, because you're calming. You always oh, calming. Oh, lavender and daffodil, man. Coming soon to a theater near you. Remember those two wackos from Oblivion, John? The twins? Yeah, I'm not so sure they're twins. Well, we both don't have brothers. Right. We both come from sister ran households. And I know I always wanted a brother. I always wanted to experience what that kind of like connection is with the, another guy. And like, you know, to have that kind of brotherhood and that kind of kinship and something just sparked between Aaron and I that just was like, it just happened. <laughs> Yeah, no, it was it was natural. It was easy, it was you know. Easy. Like it was just uh, instantaneous, you know. Like we just, um, it's just it was infectious. Like you know, he's just such a joy and light and breath of fresh air. And like I, I needed that person in my life at that time. And and Brian, like, just, it's just full of. Full of life and laughter and love. I always feel protected with this guy. I know for a fact that if I need somebody to bail me out, he's gonna bail me out. It was a pleasure. A pleasure to know you, man. Well, you still know me, bro. I mean, I know I know. <laughs> Say it like, all right, well, let's You're just always that. busy, bro. That's the, you're just off. You just work too much, you know, but you I know, will always make time for you, though. That's I'll it. always make time for you, bro. Yeah. All the time. <laughs> Evan, hmm. where's the briefcase? Oh, it's not shit. <laughs> oh my Who God. would you happening. be? I would definitely be doing something dodgy. <laughs> something That's dodgy? Right. <laughs> I'd be definitely some enabler of some kind. A, a terrible, a janky promoter. Yeah, maybe. yeah, like, yeah. yeah. Some little shark. But then kid. a friendship blossoms because then he ends up like joining. Dead. The I genuinely end up dead <laughs> in a lot of things. That I is do. not. That's so, not where I was gonna go. But yeah. okay. How am I supposed to handle this, man? Is this some London? We had a wicked little car sequence where we're driving and we're working out what our next uh, next move might be, and we're like talking about the old uh, wagon wheel, wagon wheels, the jammy dodges, or whatever. Just how to spin the car out, and so we were like. But the funny thing was how game Logan Lerman was on this movie because yeah. he was a great sport, but like he's knocked out unconscious in the back, so he literally is just like a bodied <laughs> moving. Yeah. And because we're throwing this car about. He lit, we put, I put my foot on the brake and he literally came flying. Body. And Brian literally, with no hesitation, just quickly grabbed his head and then threw it back. And it was just, it was just in my periphery and I just <laughs> had to keep a straight face. But it was days like that, every day he'd make me laugh. It was just it. 
I think I'm not, I know, a bit wasabi. A bit wasabi. <laughs> that's dirty fighting too, man. Yeah. That's like, we like, did play around with a sea urchin, but I'm not sure that's in it anymore. Oh, that's right, man. Uh, I mess really around fun. with some chopsticks. Little, those little hand towels, the little lemony hand towels that you bah. whip. Bah. That's quite fun. You sure you want to talk this out? Not particularly, no. <sighs> okay. I did a laptop, uh, which was really fun. I at one point wanted to take that bucket hat off of Brad and slap him around with it, but David mm. was like, no, no, that's too complicated. It's part of his character. Go mess up the hair. Mess up the hair. Hey, this is nice. Now, I'll tell you what's not fun to play with a snake on the train. That's yeah. not fun. Like, knowing that a snake can just go through these crevices under seats and stuff, that's not fun. Mm -mm. So don't bring no snakes on no train, okay? Uh -huh. Sorry, buddy. Y'all be trying to get us in trouble. Like we, I don't want, I don't want there to be this this thing that us actors go on set and take things off set because we respect our props and our costumes. Um, yeah. But yes, we took stuff. <laughs> <laughs> we took everything. I took everything. I think I have a Momo Mon plushie. Mm -hmm. Uh, Dusted. I think I kept the boots, Lemon's boots, which were fire. I wanted to keep my wig, but they just didn't. They they were like, no, we can't, we can't. I know, I got that. Yeah. <laughs> I kept he kept the wig. I pretty much, anything that wasn't screwed down, I took it. So, because mm. it was like, when are we going to do this again? Mm. So all of that means that I have all of Brad's stuff. So, like, <laughs> like mm. he doesn't need it. Let's just mm. get another one. That's a deal.